Hello there, everybody. Welcome back to another episode of my favorite trip to the movies, uh, the show where we talk about our favorite movie memories, uh, favorite movie theater concessions, and just kind of the overall awesomeness of, of going out and experiencing art in the movies. You know, when, you know, obviously uh, now is uh, not movie going, it's definitely not as it was right now, but it does seem to be, you know, coming back in a little bit. Some theaters are opening up limited capacity, but thought this would be a fun way to reminisce until we are, are all able to kind of, you know, go back there without even thinking about uh, COVID, hopefully uh, soon. And also, before I get started too, just a huge shout out to all the, the healthcare workers, the teachers, and just all the essential employees right now getting us through this tough time. And and today's guest is one of those healthcare workers, and he is just, um, has done so many awesome things for so many people, and so, and you know, we can't thank him enough, sincerely, and just was such an awesome person to jam out on guitar with. And you know, I've, I've had the honor of, you know, listening to play guitar. And also, he's also, the, this is, this is on a different interview series. He was the first person that I interviewed for a different interview thing, like back like eight or seven years ago. A long time ago. For a different, for a different thing that's no longer a thing. But this is the thing yeah. now. Uh, Andre Serbia. Andre, how are you on this uh, March Thursday night? I'm pretty good. You know, I'm just uh, keeping it chill for today. You know, I had class earlier, but um you know doing my thing just trying to stay out of the covid life you know <laughs> hey well said well said hopefully uh we're out of that covid life sooner than later oh yeah um so andre what has been one of your favorite movie theater memories or a few of them um all right so i i had to think about this for a while because obviously we haven't been to the movies in oh, what almost a year now right probably just about a year uh and even before then, I think the last movie I saw probably might have been Endgame, to be honest with you. Um, so Endgame, I don't know if that's like a, a one that people like usually have said. I don't know if that's like a, uh, other people's decisions, but I, I have a couple. So that one, um, I think my particularly favorite scene is during the uh, the ending part where Cap grabs the hammer or he gets the hammer and he's like, you know, he's worthy. And Thor is like, oh, I knew it, you know, and because like the whole theater was just like, wow what the heck it was insane um but yeah it's like uh the the feeling of your the adrenaline it's like the whole time the, the they're, they're fighting and they're just like kicking each other's butts and stuff and it's like wow you know it's, you, you don't get to see that very often so like whenever i think back to like the last movie i saw or at least a really fun movie that um that i went to last was uh it would had to be that one um and then i think before that too I think Moana was a really good one too, uh, particularly because of like just you know the emotion that they put into that movie and like the the uh, cultural differences that they made sure of and made sure that uh, it was at least try try to be true to their culture. You know the Polynesians, I think it, they are right. Um, so yeah, it was really fun to watch that movie. Uh, you know, my grandma had passed away a long time ago, back in two thousand eight. So like, you know, that was kind of an emotional connection too. So I was like, obviously crying during the movie, <laughs> so, during that part. Um, you know, I can be an emotional guy sometimes. Uh, there's nothing wrong with that though. So, but yeah, Moana was a really good one. It was really fun. Uh, yeah. I love both of those examples. And I mean, if there was a movie to have last been to, I mean, Endgame is really the, was really the movie of all movies and so well said about the, the Captain America hammer scene with Mjolnir and the, mm -hmm. that whole, the whole last 30 minutes, the theater was just a stadium, that whole, that whole scene. And yeah. was, that's, it was, I'm so glad you brought that up. And, and, you know, talking any amount of end game is, is definitely okay with me. So I'm so glad you brought it up. Yeah. Yeah. I know you're a big uh, Marvel fan and Cap fan. So yeah, that's so really, I, it was really cool. Yeah, that movie was like it still feels too awesome to have ever been real like i don't it's so hard to like even process that movie even happened it feels like oh my gosh so awesome right it's like man if there was other movie that that can be like in that type of type of level mm -hmm. i would go see those movies over and over again it's just so cool and so fun to see yeah i'm so i'm so interested to see what like because i mean i think it, it'll be it'll be a long time even if there wasn't um the the pandemic i think it definitely would have been a long time before we get another event like that i mean yeah. i think it's going to be a little bit longer now but yeah oh, that yeah, really sure. was like oh oh my gosh so i'm well said i think hopefully we will maybe get something like to that level sometime soon yeah um and moana i am so glad you brought up moana that is such an awesome movie 
and yeah and i'm so glad we like like i remember watching that movie and like i'm like this is a future disney classic like this yeah. is gonna be the one the ones that like you know you know how, how kind of how we our generation looks back at like aladdin and beauty of the beast and lion right. king and that, i think this is gonna be one that like you know Jed, the kids growing up in this generation are absolutely gonna look back on yeah i, I know movies like moana i think that's obviously more recent but when i look back into like uh uh movies like uh i guess disney movies because i watch a lot of disney movies i'm a big oh, disney nice. fan uh, my girlfriend and I watch Disney movies all the time when she's over or whenever I'm over at her house. But uh, like movies like, uh, what is it? Princess and the Frog that came out, I think in 2011, maybe that was Frozen, but like movies seem like they didn't come out so much long ago, too long ago. It's just like, that's a classic. And you think about, you know, those are recent movies, but it's not that recent anymore. It's 2021 now. They're old. Uh, <laughs> I was 2011 already 10 years ago. I know exactly 10 years ago. I, it's insane. But I'm so yeah. glad you brought up Princess and the Frog too, because I love. I, mean, I think I mean there might have been one since then, but I think that was definitely one of the last like 2D drawn animation films. And yeah, you definitely it's such an awesome you know way to animate a movie. Yeah. And I hope you know maybe we get a few more of those. Yeah, oh yeah, that, that, I, uh, 2D on, animations they're really good. I like that way that they draw the art style and stuff. Like, um, but I think they're they're doing more 3D stuff, which is which is just fine. I like 3D movies too. The, the animation of that. Oh yeah, and it's kind of what you said about Moana too. Just the animation, it was you know so beautiful and 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 so well said about you know culture and representation. I mean that is just unbelievably mm. important to you know put on the big screen and and he's and I'm hopefully we continue to see more and more of that moving forward with with blockbuster movies. Oh yeah, I know they're coming out with uh, what Raya and the Dragon or something like that. That's that's a new Disney movie that they're coming out with. That I hope they they uh, keep the culture the same. So, absolutely coming out this weekend. Yeah, it worked out perfectly. I'm glad you brought it up. Yeah, exactly. We we'll put a plug for Disney here, real quick. Just uh, watch Raya of the Dragon. <laughs> I forgot the entire movie title, but yeah. Hey, exactly. I mean, any 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 amount of new movie in this time is always welcome. So I'm glad, mm -hmm. and especially an awesome Disney movie, as it seems to be. Yeah. Oh yeah. And I love what you said about the the connection with your with your grandma too. That's like a super. Like anytime a movie, you watch a movie and you feel like just a powerful connection with an event you've experienced in your life. It's just like this feeling of like, just it elevates you. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I mean, I think, I don't know when Moana, I forget when Moana came out, but it has to be within the last five or six years, right? Maybe. Yeah. Um, and my grandma passed back in 2008. So, I mean, it's been a while, but you know, it's always like some things that like remind me of her or like, um, you know, this movie, especially just the way, I don't know, you know it's just the way they presented it and the way that she was teaching her and she was uh, guiding her and stuff like that. So um, it's always um, really emotional, but it's, it's those type of things that bring people into movies more. So I, I like the fact that they like to bring in emotional aspects into you know, people's lives and the movies that they make. So. Oh yeah. So, so well said Andre. And yeah, when you're, and you're at the theater with, you know, everyone and they're kind of, that feeling is also being experienced by this is so cool being a part of that atmosphere for sure. Mm -hmm. Now, Andre, there's another, uh, so I always try to think of like a mutual experience that, you know, that, that the guest and I can both relate to and Warcraft 2016. I think that was, <laughs> that might've been the first movie you and I saw. Yeah. Too. You, me and Mike, we were at that one. Yeah. Wow. That's uh, that was a long time ago. I, I didn't even think about that, but I have actually, uh, a shirt that I got from, uh, I forgot who, who I got it from, uh, but it's a shirt um, that has this, the Warcraft movie on the back of it. So I got it as like a souvenir, I guess, uh, but it's really cool. Oh, awesome. That was a good movie. Yeah, that was, uh, it's always so cool when you see like such a well-established franchise, get like a movie adaptation just to see what, what kind of story routes they take and yeah. how it adapts. So I'm definitely, I'm glad that that got a movie because it's just so popular and I'm, and you know, I'm so glad to see it happen. Yeah, the, the game is super popular. I still play it to this day, obviously. Um, but the movie itself got, uh, I think, from critics, um, not such a good score. Uh, it's not really rated that high. And to be honest, if I, if I were to rate it myself, I'd rate it in a higher, higher um, level. But I think that's just because I am biased, but I also know more of this lore and the story behind the actual you know, universe. Um, and you know, this is just a snippet and, and a huge, huge story that you know, that the Blizzard company had created. Um, 
man you know i i think legendary pictures made it is that correct um you know i i guess they're one of the better people to try and make that movie or that that franchise come to this movie screen um you know it's hard it's hard to be to make a a video game saga or series i guess into a movie um just because when you have a budget like i do a video game as opposed to a movie where you only have two hours maybe two and a half hours it's hard to put all that into you know uh that little amount of time so oh yeah so it's yeah two and a half hours to fit in like the whole lore and just kind of make a story that both people who know the source material also general audiences that's gotta be such a hard task and yeah and to and yeah i thought like yeah i i had a really fun time watching that with you guys and um and I remember I uh, I forgot what they were called. I wish I remember their names. But like there's a there's a creature in 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 Warcraft. It's like a it kind of resembles a tree frog. And it's like green. And there was one in the background. It was like the coolest. I remember people were um, reacting to it. It was a little Easter egg. Oh. Hmm. oh I wish so. I could remember. I wish I could remember the scene. It, it resembles a tree frog. I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm gonna look this up. Sure. Warcraft. We'll get a, We'll get the. Uh, oh, there it is. It's the the Murloc. Is oh, that that's what it is. Yeah, that's yeah. okay. Yeah, the Murloc. I I was thinking about that, but I have one of these guys here now on my desk. Actually, it's like a little Funko Pop version of him. But yeah, it's yeah, a I don't. Cool guy. It does not resemble a tree frog. I don't know why I thought a tree frog. I, I can see it. It's like because you know they're they look like it's the green. It's got the red oh, yeah, the, the red um stuff. But um, I can see it. They're just like super more humanoid ish kind of creatures. So. But yeah, they're, I'm sure everybody's freaking out because it's like a staple in the universe. It's like it's a, I guess it's been a meme in the a game for a long time. So, yeah, that was like so cool, to, you know, to be a, to be a part of that to kind of yeah. uh, to see everyone's reaction to that. Cause, yeah, it's always so cool when you know, things little things like that from source material get thrown in there that that people love. Exactly. Yeah, there's a I know there's a couple of things that they had uh, made into the movie that uh, were super subtle, mm -hmm. but you know, some people big fans were able to pick out and you know enjoy. So. Yeah, so hopefully we get a. Uh, hopefully, um, we, I know it's been. I think we may. I think we said five years or five or six years since we've seen that movie. So hopefully, they either do a continuation or a reboot or just something to keep that to keep. Because a movie with Warcraft is just such a cool a cool idea for sure. Yeah, I I know I heard some things like some rumors about um, another one being made. Um, we'll see though. I mean, it's hard it's hard to do because the game just keeps expanding and new expansions just came out about. Uh, and came out in, uh, in November, so it's it's a more adding to the story. So there's so much that they can choose from, um, so, but you know, hopefully, uh, hopefully they'll come out with more because it'd be cool to see just to see it. Exactly, perfectly said. Hopefully soon we get some news on that. And now for the uh, second uh, segment of the show, Andre, what are some of your favorite uh, movie concession items? Bunch of crunch. I love yes. the Bunch of Crunch. It's my favorite, one of my favorites. Um, and before that, I think, because Bunch of Crunch was relatively new, I guess, compared to snow caps. Um, when I was younger, I used to always get the snow caps with, you know, those little chocolates with the little white bead things on it. So, so good. So good. Um, I guess another would be nachos is the classic. You always want to get the nachos and the soda, even Ooh. though it's like so expensive, but uh, <laughs> sometimes it's just worth it. It's about that movie time experience, you know, even with the, the expensive <laughs> concession items. Um, yeah, you know, popcorn is not too much of my thing. I, I guess I'll have some of it, but uh, I don't know. I think it just gets stuck in my teeth in the back some. It's like, you know, the kernels or the, the pieces of the popcorn sort of get stuck. So not my favorite, um, but I like some sort of popcorn. Um, if they had like, I don't know, caramelized popcorn or uh, what is it? Uh, the kettle corn that's like pretty good stuff if i had that more often I'd, I'd enjoy that i love that lineup that lineup alone just made me so excited to to go to like for the movies to come back and yeah, yeah bunch of crunch you are i think that is the most popular candy on this show i think really? both, <laughs> both uh nick wenzel eric wenzel and julius they all they all mentioned yep. bunch of crunch it's a classic that's for sure so good and so snow good. caps, it, yeah. Snow caps, that was my one. That was my favorite before Bunch of Crunch came out because I don't know if, you know, I don't know, you know, when it came out, but I know that was a, a thing. And I, you know, it's funny. I don't really see Bunch of Crunch outside of movie theaters, so I don't know if it's like a proprietary item to movie theaters, that you know, uh, Nestle made. But 
I've never seen it. I'm sure you can find it somewhere, like Amazon or something, right? But uh, it's good stuff. Like you said, it's just those items, even if they're a little bit more expensive, they just fit so well at the movie. It's part of the experience. Right, right. Yeah, Reese's Pieces was another good one that I used yes. to get sometimes. Those were really good. Yeah, uh, Peter on the last show mentioned mixing the Reese's Pieces with the popcorn. That'd be a, a cool combination. Okay. Wow, yeah, that's pretty good. You just kind of stick it in there and stir it up a little, I guess, a little bit. Be kind of good. Yeah, that'd be an awesome combination of flavors. And kind of what you said about, I, I love what you said about the movie theater experience and how that's part of it. And kind of what's your take on just kind of the overall you know, awesomeness of, you know, going out and experiencing art and movies and like and going out and doing that when it's, you know, when we can all, you know, I'll do that again, of course, safely. Yeah. So I guess experiencing art is some, uh, a form of something that everybody wants to enjoy, right? Because, you know, there's people who enjoy different types of uh, activities. Like, you know, you can stay home, you can enjoy video games like I do. You can enjoy a variety of things like uh, going out to see movies and going to museums and arts and things like that. Um, but I think whenever people go to see movies and art, it's more, uh, it's more of a social aspect too, because obviously when you go to see these things, there are other people around. So it's not just, um, you know, an isolation in your own home, watching a movie. It's different because, you know, I can have a TV here um, and I can watch a Disney movie. Um, you know, even that, that it just came out, like I watched Mulan when it came out and I watched it here with my girlfriend um, but it's not the same because there's a social aspect to it that I think is, uh, kind of integral to going to see art, you know, in, in museums, obviously there's other people around and even though it, you're in a museum and when you, when you observe art, it's sort of like a, a intrapersonal sort of thing. Um, and you kind of experience it in your own head and you wonder, and you, you come to your own conclusion of what art can be and what that art looks like to you. Um. But then, like, like I said, the social aspect comes into it and you ask someone else, like if you bring a friend or a group of people that you're with, like, oh, what does this mean to you? And you get to like a little bit of a, a glimpse into their mind because it's always a little bit of a different experience. And, you know, I think this applies to a lot of art because it's not, you know, you always ask yourself and then you always ask other people like what they thought of art or what they thought of the movie, you know, and then it all comes together and minds converge and it just goes from there. Um, theories happen from movies, uh, other art, uh, um, I guess, art, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, I forgot, but you know, they have their own ideas to make that sort of the same art. So like ideas, I guess you can say more ideas come from from that. So it's really cool to just, you know, to see people uh, experience art together. That was like so beautifully said, Andre. Thank you for, for saying that. That was awesome. Sure. Um, I love what you said about kind of the, the social aspect. And and yeah, like I totally like, like, I mean, the, the big blockbuster, uh, like Disney musicals, like seeing seeing those in the theater is just such a different experience. Like, you know, oh, yeah. kind of just, you know, you have the sound system, you have, you know, other people kind of singing along, you know, jamming along and and I, 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 that's such a perfect example for that. And yeah. And I love what you said about kind of the theories and I know walking outside of the movie, like, what do you, what's, what's that? Yeah. What's this? How's this going to be a future in a future movie? Yeah. Yep. It's so awesome. Yeah. Like I, when I went to go see Spider-Man, what is it? Uh, Far From Home is the recent one, right? I always get mm -hmm. too confused, but that's the most recent one. And at the end, I don't know if did you spoilers. Uh, spoilers okay. Like yeah, we can spoiler okay. alert for Spider-Man for yeah. everyone listening. <laughs> yeah. Um, so at the end, when um uh Mysterio he comes on that big screen, you know, and he says, you know, he identify he reveals his identity and he's like, you know, Spider-Man is Peter Parker, and he freaks out, and then the end the credits just boom. Um and the other day I actually was talking to my girlfriend about this. Um I was thinking, I was like, you know, what does that mean? you know, what can happen in future movies? And I was like, well, maybe it was just another one of his illusions that he did. Cause you know, you know, oh, the bot, you know, the entire movie was just him making up illusions with the, the drones. So what if it's something like that? But I, you know, it gets me thinking, cause like they obviously locked him up, but what if like the rest of their team, some other separate team has the same idea and they kind of were working together and they came up with that whole thing. So I don't know, but that's pretty cool. Yeah, so that ending was like it's such so many theories, and yeah, I love yeah his his team his whole team could be just 
making up a they could be just doing some magic to make it look like Quentin Beck is alive and maybe right. he's not even maybe he's not even dead. Maybe he yeah, oh my gosh, like mm-hmm. Yeah, it's it's crazy to think about and you know before, you know, this covid shutdown thing happened, I'm sure more movies would have came out eventually like, you know, at least at a faster pace than they are now. Um maybe would have we would have seen another uh preview into the next Spider-Man if possible i don't know if there maybe there are rumors i know you probably know more about this than i do but i don't know if there's like more um rumors of another spider-man movie coming out or uh something different yeah spider-man no way home december 2021 is that is that real yeah that's real? oh yeah. wow see that that's why that's why i always i follow you on instagram and i watch oh i see you all your posts about like you know movie uh things so i, I guess i missed that one but if you even did one but uh that's I'm awesome not- um, yeah, so I'm definitely, but it is, it, they like just announced it officially, like, like last week. So it's not oh, been wow. super, like, it, like they had it on the schedule, but like no, no official press releases really All right. un- until, yeah. So last week was like the, really the first and yeah, they're and, and, but, but like you said, though, if this, if we were in normal times, I think we would have had it. I think it was supposed to come out in the summer originally. Mm-hmm. So we probably, probably would have had a, a preview by now, Yeah, but hopefully oh, soon. Yeah. Yeah, I messed up a lot of I messed up a lot of things, but um, here we are. We're getting past it. We're doing our thing. So, exactly. And hey, thank you. To, it's to healthcare workers like Andre and just you know. If, so if you know, thank you again, Andre, for for all you do in that in that field. Sincerely. Yeah, I try to do my best. Uh, I don't work as often as I like to. I got school going on. To you know, I got my RN uh, school going on. But uh, when I do work, it's it's just uh, something that I'm happy to do. So. And hey, and kind of on that on that note, uh, before we end, do you have any any anything coming up you want to promote? Any words for the viewers? Any uh, what do you uh, any any what what closing words? <laughs> um, you know, I'm not too good with closing words, but um, you know, I I want to I guess I just want to say to let have everyone be safe. Um, for all our friends that are watching that I haven't talked to in forever, um, I hope you guys are doing well. I hope everyone else that watches this that I don't know is doing well. <laughs> Oh. um but yeah it's it's a uh, really fun to see the, the talk to you again to joey when you messaged me i was really excited to like you know do this and i was like oh i haven't talked to joey in forever so now we're here we are and you know it's it feels like it's been 10 minutes but it's actually been about half an hour now already so um yeah so i hope uh you're doing well too joey and i hope everyone else is doing well and stay safe out there thank you so much andre that was so so well said so well said about everyone you hope everyone listening and Andre, so great to catch up. And yeah, it feels like it feels like it was 10 minutes ago. We were just going to, I remember you, me, and Nick, we go to the mall. We used to go to the mall and just walk around. It feels like that yeah. was 10 minutes ago. Yeah, right. <laughs> so yeah, Man. so hopefully, uh, hopefully we can all get together in person uh, sooner than later. For sure. Yeah. That'd be really awesome. I'd like to do that. Me? Yeah, me too. Me too, for sure. Um, all right, everybody. Have a great night. Uh, and thank you, everyone, for watching.